Barnum's Dream is currently sitting in one of P.T. Barnum's warehouses undergoing refurbishment in Bridgeport, Connecticut. She was originally built by Queen Victoria and Napoleon III to fight in the Crimean War. If you want the details of how Napoleon III used Captain Nemo's science team to turn her into what she is today, to fight a tank train in the franco prussian Wars, and then how P.T. got his hands on her, you'll have to go to my blog at the end of the video. To understand how the ship functions, we'll take a quick tour of major component. The massive controls are moved by shites, steam hydraulically involved thermal engines. We would call them robots. There are two functioning shites on the ship and two in repair. This is the captain's shite. The electrical contacts in front of him open and close the main cannon door and turn on the lights. The arm on the right engages a clutch to raise the armor around the ship. The arm on the left drops chain mail him. The death ray is fired by a shite called Ashtray. He got his nickname because everything that the death ray hits can be put in an ashtray. When it is fired, his driver must close a blast shield to protect himself. The telescope at the top can rotate 360 degrees. Ashtray's driver looks through the telescope through this lens which has an embedded aiming grid. Daedalus supports the main drive wheel. They're about to start the first trial run. 50,000 gallons of water is about to boil. 12-ton flywheel will get up to 600 RPM. Take a look inside. Captain lowers his personal chain mail and engages the clutch to raise the main arm. Now they'll dry fire all of the guns. This is the transmission for the steam Gatling gun. And here goes the death ray. Thought and how it was. 